Hi honeys, how are you all doing? I hope life's treating you well and I hope you're doing good. So for today's video, I'm a bit embarrassed. I've not given you an invite to the house in literally forever. I've not invited you in to have a nap, have a look, have a cuppa for ages. So today I thought I'd need to change that. And today I'm going to be inviting you all into my house for an updated 2021 house tour. I am so excited because so much has changed since the last house tour that I've done which was actually a good while ago I think it was before Christmas you have not seen inside the house in 2021 I mean you have in like little previews on this channel and the daily dose of us channel but I haven't showed you inside and I feel like we need to change that I feel like you just need to come in have a look see what the house is like now and I'm very excited to invite you in for a house tour what I'm even more excited for though is I have been <laughs> So lucky to give one of you guys the chance to win your dream bed. You can customise your own bed and win it for free. Absolutely nothing. How exciting is that? If you've been following us a while, you'll know I love anything that's a bargain or free. So this is a very exciting giveaway because I get to give one of you your dream bed. You did a bedroom renovation in my room and honestly having a bed that you love literally just makes you get, makes you so excited. And I honestly think it makes you sleep better because you're in a nice environment, you love your bed and you just feel happy with life. So Happy Beds are teaming up with me to give one of you guys a chance to win a customised bed of your choice. There's going to be a main feed post on my Instagram now where you can head over and have a look at the rules for the giveaway but it's nothing complicated you just have to be following my main account following happy beds account then you just have to tag a friend in the comments preferably a friend who loves interior like me and then share my instagram post on your instagram story and then three things once you've done them the dream bed could be on its way to you. The giveaway will be running for a week. Now, unfortunately, you do have to have Instagram for this giveaway, but don't worry if you're not on Instagram. I'll be doing lots of giveaways coming up soon, which don't require you to have Instagram. But this is in collaboration with Happy Bed, so you do have to have Instagram to be involved in this giveaway. So I will announce the winner a week from today on my Instagram story, so make sure that you're following along so you know if you win the bed or not. But yeah, good luck to anybody who decides to end that. And with all that being said... Let's take a look around my house. Now I'm going to pre-warn you the house is tidy but it's not immaculate because this is a house that I live in and if your house looks like mine don't be embarrassed because you live in your house. I just want to get rid of the ideal of everyone's house being prim and proper because mine is not like that and I know majority of people's is not. The one room that's actually pretty bad though is the office. I've been working today, I've been filming campaigns and the office just isn't looking its best right now. And to be honest, the office hasn't really changed since the last video, or maybe it has actually, because I did rearrange it all. I'm still gonna show you it even though it's messy because, you know, th this is my channel and nothing is ever prim and proper. So standing at my front door, this is what you'll see. Now I'm gonna give you a peek in the office. This is for a campaign. This is work stuff, so the office is a mess, but just to give you an overall, we have a black storage box here. We have a leopard print storage box here. I have a full stand and mirror from Ikea. I have these gorgeous drawers from Furniture Box, and then I have my workstation, which is a mess. And then I have the sofa area, which gets used to store a lot of things. And this area is always gonna be a bit messy because it's where I store all my lighting. But with that being said, now you know what it looks like. I've stained my rug, I need to get a new rug, but I've sellotaped this rug to the floor. The office is the, the office is the room in the house that's not doing too good. So we're just gonna evacuate this room quickly. Now, apart from that, all the other rooms, they're doing fine. Now, this is what you see when you walk in the house. We have a wooden staircase. Now, I'm going to talk you through my ideas of what I'd like to do. A carpet runner up here because I think it would look much better. And I'd like to get some prints on the wall. And I'd also like to spray paint all of the spindles and this ball black. Because I feel like black would just make it look much more modern and it would match me round mirror. And then I have this big radiator here and then I got that little plaque as a housewarming present off Sean's old neighbours and it just says home is our happy place. And then you can meet Roy. Roy is a little welcome guest. How are you doing Roy love? Having a good day? This was Sean's nana's and he actually got Roy and he has a firm place in our passage and we all love Roy. So then moving on, we'll start downstairs. Now we do have a baby gate here. This is just for the pups when they were tiny. And the only thing with the house is we don't actually have a passageway because there is our front door. So 
to save the pups being able to run out the front door um we have the baby gate on which is quite bad it's not a bad baby gate it's just black and i don't mind it so there we go this is just an understair cupboard that everyone fills with clutter and we have done the exact same i feel like sometimes we would like to maybe open this bit up but i don't know for now it's just a good place to shove the rubbish you don't want okay so our living room um cushion why are you not fluffed up okay so this is our living room which you've probably seen in quite a lot of videos especially if you follow the daily dose of us channel now in long term future what we'd love to do is get this tv put on that wall but that wall isn't a very um like good wall to put something on so we would need to make a fake wall so that would be quite a big project but for now we just have it on this cute tv stand we'll have a little picture of henry and luna as well it's so cute and then here i just have my little yellow chair which matches the sofa in the office and then we have the blue wall with our beam we have the gold clock on which i got from wayfair and then the beam is from traditional beams and then i have my friend harry's blank homeware collection um, Harry also got us this for my birthday as well and I just really like it, it matches the theme. Then I have some designer inspired books. And then the fireplace looks like this. And then you have this little thing here which just, I should have took the wires in but I didn't. And then you have my rug which is from Wayfair. And then the dog's bone there. And then I have this little coffee table situation in the middle of the rug. So you have like a bigger one and then a smaller one. And then my bonsai is a fake bonsai tree from Poundland. This is the sofa, probably the biggest regret. Um, I just don't love the colour of it. I mean, look at that. It needs, what are you doing? Hello, fluff yourself up. I just feel the colour of it looks kind of yellow and muddy and I don't love the material. So probably my biggest regret but yeah this is the sofa it's a good shape and I love the size but the colour just pisses me off and then over on the back wall we'll have my decennio collage which I love and then you can see the sideboard it's the exact same range as the tv stand the fulton range and then on here for deco i just have this little photo cube which my mom got it's got lots of different photos of the dogs and me and sean on i have my room spray just for when i need a spritz a little reed diffuser a vase with some pompous grass in and then some more fake designer books this is just a little speaker a candle and then a little navy lamp from b and M. I think um this lamp needs to go but it doesn't work so I don't know why it's still there but it is but yeah and then this is just the sideboard area and then my prints which I love I love 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 my prints so much and I think the gold frames really set them off coming round to the back well, which I use as a work area and this is also where we eat this should be in the center um, but yeah, I have just been working on here as well though looking out But this is my dining chair and table It's actually from Furniture Box and I love it with all the gold detailing And this is my little book stand It's so pretty, I haven't changed this to be fair I really should get some autumn deco on there But as of yet I haven't done anything to this in a while And my little greyhound whippet statue has been relocated to the windowsill But this my friends is the living room it's quite a big living room so yeah moving on to the puppies room nothing much has changed in here so they still have their crate in here just because it's like a little sense of security for them but it never gets closed unless we go out they do still stay in this room um but yeah this is their beds in here but they actually sleep in our room this is just the beds if they want to come in here then they have a little chair me mom got that little chair for them off um facebook marketplace and i think it's so cute and then they just have this little piece of furniture which is also matches the furniture in the living room it's the fulton range from dunelm and then just their toys and then their coats and bags and anything they may need but yeah so this is their little room just cute nothing much going on and then we have the downstairs toilet which we've done absolutely nothing to so it's just a downstairs toilet the kitchen which you will have seen in many vlogs um but you will have also seen this in the updated house tour nothing has changed in the kitchen everything is still the same because we did get the kitchen done when we moved into the house 
so yeah this is a pretty straightforward room to show you same with the utility it is being currently used for our washing so a bit messy but again nothing really changed in this room um we haven't done anything since we kind of got it done when we first moved in now the garden renovation is probably one of the big renovations that we've done so the full garden is now accessible if you watched off if you've watched my channel for a while or if you follow the daily dose of us channel half of the garden was sectioned off for a period of time so although the garden looks a lot better it is not done the back of the garden still has an abandoned area which we're using as a bit of a mini skip but we do want to get a pergola and everything up there but it's just not something we've done yet so we'll start at the bottom of the garden so you have two access points you have the double doors at the back and then you also have this door from the utility they need to go in the bin just bear with so we used to have the seating area here but we decided to move the seating area there because i don't know it just didn't vibe there um but we have a little thing for water so when you come out of the doors this way we have this little wooden seat from b m 50 quid i really like it. it looks so rustic and cute and i like the details on it so we have this and then this area we put loads of white stones in all the way down to here you'll find dog toys lying around the garden at all times and then i got my first garden baby this is her how gorgeous i love it but yeah we kept some of the bushes and flowers from here but not many but that orange one's really pretty and that bush looks quite cute so there's a little bit going on there but not too much but yeah so this is the first bit and sean changed all of the sleepers along here so we got brand new sleepers and then that whole was off henry and luna great and then this is the little garden seating area i did a full gazebo renovation video on the daily dose of us channel so if you've not seen that i'll have it linked below but yeah i love this area i'm always in it i think it's adorable and it does have fairy lights that are solar paneled so at night these will come on and it looks really pretty but if you want to see that video i'll have it linked below and then the patio so we had this area here which we didn't have anything to do with so we filled it for stones filled it with stones ideally we want to fill all of this with stones but it means digging all of this out which would be quite a big job which is something just at the minute we're not going to do my patio so as you can see this patio looks really cute i painted it again i have a full video on the daily dose of us channel of this patio transformation so i'll have it linked below and then this is our barbecue hut which you can see inside on the original house tour um, because nothing has changed but around the hut we've got new sleepers and filled it with stones i would like to get some pots or something for around here i think would look really nice and then at the back of the garden we filled it with bark we used to have you used to not be able to access this part of the garden at all it used to be filled with bushes um but yeah this is it oh my god guys look at how many plums i have are you kidding me they look so cool but aren't they meant to get quite a bit bigger than that or are these mini plums <gasps> look at that last time i was up here they did not look like that they look adorable anyway so up here i have this which is a christmas tree we filled this area with bark as you can see there's loads of plums which i actually need to go around and pick up but we have a plum tree this other tree and then this plum tree which looks so pretty and purple i love it but yeah so this is this area with the bark and it just looks much better um like this and then this is the area that hopefully we'll get to work on soon because as you can see the garden actually extends quite far back but this area is just cordoned off at the moment so now you've seen the garden let's go upstairs so once you get to the top of the stairs this is the first room which is the main bathroom nothing at all has changed in here this is a room we'd like to renovate eventually but as of now nothing has changed We've still got the beautiful orange tiles which you know i'm growing not to hate them as much but this is the main bathroom this is what's going to be a games room but currently it is a storage room full of junk and it doesn't smell too pleasant it smells of plastic balloons so we're not going to go in there and the next room is the spare room which has actually now been renovated look at this is the only thing about this bedding it isn't straight and it's really hard to straighten 
is what you see when you first walk into the spare room. I'll just switch the light on for you. This is what it looks like. Now I went for a very pink theme just because I thought it would look cute. So we actually have a grey carpet in here and then we have the old bed from our main bedroom in here from furniture box and the two matching bedside tables and then we just have this nice pink throw on from online home shop with some cushions and then I also have my photo gallery so this all these designs are by Simply Kate which I, I think it's Simply Kate or Simply Katie now I love them so I had so I picked them all myself because they're places me and Sean have been so you've got New York Brooklyn Bridge and then you have this which I believe is Prague but we've definitely been but I can't remember off the top of my head where it is then you have Berlin and Newcastle which is obviously where we're from then you have Edinburgh and Paris and I just love the prints so much and I think they really complement this area and then down here you have some little lamps which I got from Asda, me fake plant which I think is B&M and me little candle and then I also have a little reed diffuser, I have him, a little bear on the window and then just a candle. Now all this wiring needs to get sorted and I need to sort something out but for now it's just there and then I also have this little pink stool from B&M and this dressing table. Now I actually got the mirror from Amazon which turns on and it's nice and dainty and thin and it looks quite modern and then the little floating shelf drawers are also from Amazon now I'm not too keen on this pink but it'll do for now and then I have that little eye thing hooked up there which I got from B&M moving on to the other bedside table I have the matching lamp which is from Asda and then I just have a little gold tray with a Yankee candle and a room spray and then on here I just have some floating shelves so I have these shelves are all from B&M I think he's from B&M as well you okay Mr Grumpy Guru Mr Grumpy Grumpy and then we'll have this little floating shelf with the mirror on hello how you doing welcome to my house and then I also have some cute little deco bits on here I have this which I got as part of the um, always campaign and then I have this little um, then I have this little candle here which I got off Sean's mum and dad for my birthday and then my friend Harry's blank homeware spring collection. I love them so much and they sent this room out amazingly. And then I just have an Ikea fake hanging plant with another hexagon shelf. And then I just have my full view mirror here because if anyone's staying in this room they can see themselves. And I do store my jewellery behind that as well like just my costume jewellery. But yeah this is the bedroom. Hope you guys like it. As you'll see I'm not very good at making beds. It's a bit of a running theme. But I love this room. I feel it's so cute. And I'm just really happy with it compared to what it used to look like. I think it's such a cute room for people to stay in. And we just have our on the shelf. On the shelf? On the stair cupboard which isn't too bad at the minute I mean it could be worse but it could be better but yeah and then when you come along here this is where the door to the fourth bedroom used to be but if you've been keeping up with my channel we actually boarded that up and now it is a walk-in wardrobe in the main bedroom so I actually done a full main bedroom tour not long ago but this is the queen her she is the main focus of this room and that is my happy beds bed i love it so much i also got a mattress as well which is so thick and comfy and then i have bedside tables i'm only going to briefly show you this room because you can head over to the daily dose of us video to watch an in-depth tour of where everything's from but i'm going to give you an overview so this is a queen bed she's a very rustic looking girl i love her then we also added a shelf up there with some fake plants and some ornaments and prints. Then I just have me little light which stands out. And then on this side of the room you have some beds for the pups. Although I'm not really sure why the beds are there because the pups often stay in our bed. And then you also have this set of drawers. It's at the minute it's just got some towels on top of it and a candle. But yeah this is what it looks like. And then if you go into the ensuite. We haven't done anything to it since moving in. It looks the way that it did when we moved in. Um, yeah, it's quite modern. Quite happy with it. It's nice. And then, last but not least, we have the walk-in wardrobe. This is what she looks like. I didn't pick my pyjamas up. Wow, Demi, can you do anything right, love? This is what it looks like. You can see her a bit more tidy on the other video, but it's just our walk-in wardrobe. We haven't done anything to this since the last tour. 
but yeah I love it. Obviously the main changes in the house was the garden, the spare bedroom and then this room has been changed as well but I'm so happy with the house at the minute. Once we get the back of the garden done, the spare bedroom and the garage because the garage is just a shit all as is anybody's garage but we would like to do something with the garage. Once them rooms are done then the house will be officially complete and I'll be able to do a completed house tour but it still feels a long way away so don't get your hopes up anytime soon but if you want to follow along more with our renovations you can do that on my second channel which is daily dose of us and if you would like the chance to win your dream bed which you can customize yourself head over to my instagram to find out all the competition details they'll all be linked there so you can find out how you can win thanks so much for coming along and having a cup by with us and thanks for joining us let us know what your favorite room in the house is i'd love to know in the comments below and today's secret word because we are bringing back the secret words is going to be towel mmm towel mmm Beach towel, bath towel, thick towel, small towel, whatever you want. Just put towel below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you very shortly for another one. And thanks. Bye. <laughs>